Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here's my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author and addiction recovery coach, your life coach, the host of this show, to take your life back today. Radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. You can also hear us on iHeartRadio and iTunes. Why excuses don't work with God? Think about that. Whenever we start making excuses for not doing what God has directed us to do, it can go bad to worse. In fact, usually if we're not careful, our excuses can eventually, um, they can lead us into sin. That's right. We start saying things like, um, well, no one is perfect. God knows my heart and that's what really matters and is important. Grace will forgive me even when people try to hold me under condemnation. And on and on we go with our excuses. Many times we can get a little evil feeling like we're expected to answer to everyone for what we have decided to do and will uh, soon after that even snap. I don't owe you an explanation, you might say. Answer to, I only answer to God. The wonderful thing about being in a relationship with our God is that you let Him. He will lead you into all truth. God will uphold you even when that's the last thing you want Him to do. It really doesn't matter who all is faking it. The power of God will keep you true to Him. And if you abide in the Word of God, God will be there all the time. We see and hear all kind of rumors of those act uh, like they're saved until they get behind closed doors and then the real comes out. People often talk about saved folks and they say there are so many hypocrites in the church they don't even want to be a part of it anymore. But when we really think about it, there are hypocrites everywhere around you, everywhere you go in life, but you don't accept Christ for others. You do it for yourself. You have to understand that you are responsible for your own salvation. It's a personal choice for you to make. Don't allow people to make excuses for you not doing the will of God. If God told you to do it, he will give you, give you the strength needed to make it happen. If you're sure that God told you to do something, Don't be afraid to do it. Just know that God is on your side because he instructed you to do it. If God told you to do it, and if you heed to his will, God will always bless you for the obedience. We all have to ask ourselves a basic question. Am I making excuses for not flowing in the will of God? There are several writers that have spoken uh, on the and, and speakers that have spoken on this same subject when it comes to making excuses in general. One speaker even said, "He's that uh, he that is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else. Don't give in to excuses that can keep you from really living the best life God has in store for you. And finally, I hate excuses. Excuses are a disease.
If we're truthful, we will admit that we've been guilty of making excuses for some reason or another when it comes to our relationship with God. We make excuses for not praying, not studying, not going to church, and basically not dedicating ourselves to God in the manner that He requires. But the reason excuses don't work with God is because He knows the truth. There is no need to try to blame others for our own shortcomings. Just get it together starting today. Ask God to forgive you and get back in line with the will of God. Understanding that God does not accept excuses. God will place a conviction on us and all the excuses that we came up with because he has already given us power to do whatever he commands. If God tells us to do something, he expects us to get it done and forget about our excuses. Just forget about them. Call me at 844-405. Help together. You and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day, can change their life, can make a difference in your life. Stop coming up with excuses. You should even have an excuse for not reaching out to God right now. There is no excuse for that. Reach out to God and ask for guidance and direction. May God bless each and every one of you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. And have a great life with Jesus Christ.